So let's talk about some of the threats to children's rights. So you talk about them in the book. The number one, and, and you list several, but one of them is, and I think at the top of the list is fatherlessness. If you would you expand on that? Yes. So uh, you can look at almost any social issue that we are pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into correcting in our country, whether it's child poverty, teen depression, teen homelessness, students that are dropping out, teen pregnancy, um, incarcerated youth, whatever it mm -hmm. is that yep. is getting a lot of emphasis in terms of these major social issues that we are trying to protect, you will find that all of the kids that are affected by those social ills have something in common. And that is they are disproportionately fatherless, right? 90% mm -hmm. of homeless yeah. youth are fatherless. You're four times more likely to be a, somebody, a child living in poverty if you're fatherless, right? All of these demographics are overpopulated with fatherless children. And that is because if you starve children of one of these two adults to whom they have a natural right, it drastically impedes their ability to thrive. And so what I tell my friends on the left who care deeply about social justice is if you really do want to help kids, then you need to support children's rights to their mother and father. Because if you do, you will decimate nearly every social issue that you are seeking to correct.